Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 14 of our slow and immersive playthrough as House Spartanus in Crusader Kings 3 version 1.11. We are, let's go ahead and unpause actually, but we are currently, yeah, continue to be engaged in this uh, supporting our ally and son-in-law, King of Aquitaine, who found himself in a in a bit of a bind with West Francia and Lotharingia. You captured Count Clotaire of Marsan after the siege. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep sieging these. Just for a bit of victory score. And since nothing else is happening, our allies... Okay, our allies though are marching to Agen. So can we... Support them at the enemy. The enemy is fighting someone here, but they're all sticking together. We could take them on, even if it was just half of this army. We could take them on. Perhaps they can just go and unsiege. Was this a hostile army? It's a neutral army. If we could just unsiege, perhaps the capital of the Kingdom of Aquitaine in uh, what is it Milau? That would be a positive. We do have to take revenge for the decimation of our legions up here, although it was our fault at the end of the last, or at the kind of towards the end of the last episode. Let's see, are these guys coming down? Try and speed it up to three. Let's see what they do. So I'm hoping we can finish this siege. And come help our allies, but we have to keep a very close eye on this war. Hang on, they are getting together. Oof. Okay, they are starving. Oh, how long left on this siege? 19 days. <sighs> okay, that's about it's not worth it. It's only 15. So they are starving. That's good. There's a good chance we can defeat them there. Oh, come on, run to our ally. Move, 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 guys. Perhaps if that battle lasts long enough, we could actually... Good, we have 5,000 of us versus them with no supplies. Stewardship perk unlocked. We're currently on wealth focus. Let's go taxman. Collect tax effectiveness plus 25%. Percent, although our uh, steward is actually focused on converting cultures. Flame throne. No, we don't need that. Vassal tax contribution. Okay, let's go golden obligations. We can demand payment for hooks. Yeah, and then we go, go on to all of those. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's a shame. Shame I wasn't there with my buddies. Oh, I hope they don't get caught. Oh, this could cost us the war. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold, hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh, no. We should have stuck with our allies. Oh, now we're going to pay for it. Oh. Christ, we're really not a great general, are we? We we'll let our allies down there. That cost us the war. Uh, our own blunder. I mean, what do they have? They have. They only have 500 or 200 armored footmen. 300. They do have 400 oh, horsemen. They do have 800 cavalry. That's the problem. We need to fight that cavalry in the hills. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that cavalry here on the open plains of France. Yeah, no doubt. Yes, I mean, we need hills at least. No, I think he's down. Yeah. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, it's because the AI, the AI always knows whether we can reach him or not. That's why. A bit frustrating. King Aquitaine just got. Got that handed to him. Yeah, we can't. So even if we go, you will lose decisively. Yeah, well. Okay, let's try and... A child of my dynasty, Violetta has given birth to a son. Prince Dionysius, Eusebius. Niketas. May you grow strong and wise. Let's see, let's see if they split up their army, we could at least take one of them on. 
Okay, but they will split up to siege. Oh, this is so annoying. The AI knows what it's doing. Well, how about... How about then we go to West France here? Oh, we can't. Can we sail up? Can we just sail up and... No, we cannot. How many men do we lose? 35, 35... Oh boy. Mm, okay, we don't want to go too close. Let's go ahead in the siege of Albert. Ah, oh, we left. Should have done it. Oh, that was bad. That was completely out bad. My granddaughter, I Catherine, has given birth to a daughter. I Catherine Spartanus. She's Prince Porphyrius's daughter. He's now, oh, he's almost 40 years old now. She herself is an insightful thinker. It's sadistic though. Oh, hang on a second. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Ah. Oh, God, let's give her an orthodox name. Beatrice. Let's go Antipatra. What is going on here? Should have married her to someone matrilineal quickly. Let's fix this, guys. Marry her off to a good knight. Maximum age 25. 24. Orthodox Greek. Chaste. Shy. Okay. Let's go ahead. I mean, let's all pretend the child happened before the marriage, not two days after. Hmm. Go ahead and speed up. That's a shame. We could have won that, I think. It was 5,000 versus 10,000 for us. And they were out of supply. We could have won that battle if I was there. It's a shame. Okay, let's see. Okay, at least he got 1,000 men back. I mean, why, why didn't he walk towards us? Yeah, it's just a bit silly. We could get up there again. That would be... That would make us like 3,500 or... We'll make sorry, three thousand four and a half thousand. They continue to be out of supply. Attrition one percent per month. Why? Because it's supply limit. Supply limit is three thousand. We are not. Oh look here! Yeah, now they're gonna get together and walk. This is frustrating, and this guy's probably gonna continue to lay that siege. We can't get to him. Okay, he needs to run. Oh, here. Why are they so fast? I wonder. My prisoner, Count Clotaire, has escaped my dungeons. Oh, curse you, Clotaire. I'm not too fast, but. Yeah, well, he keeps getting caught like halfway across the country. Yeah, there she is. 500 archers. Fighting in bad terrain, covered by, countered by pikemen at least. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we should have really stuck with the, with our allies. Because yeah, now he's lost all of his troops now. Let's see what they do. Oh, if we could just catch them out at least once, we would decimate them. That's the thing. Six percent per month attrition. Let's see, maybe they get out of supply. Let's put this on speed five. Just for the time being. Is that it? Have they been completely destroyed? Yeah, he's been completely destroyed. Let me. Okay, well at least we got these counties. Let's go ahead and see if we can unsiege. They just. This is our ally. While hosting lords and ladies from the realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my brother, Prince Marcos, in good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most chivalrous person you have ever heard of? Prince Marcos, without a doubt. He spends 75 prestige, he gets 10 opinion of us. Okay, we need that. Let's go ahead and. Siege this, it's only five months. Let's go ahead and speed up. The 
palette of the Carlit Kinke. They're all moving now. There's a story in our little town of a king with a garlic crown. To battle the infidels he rode on a donkey, but his only success was against a small monkey. This cursed ballad has become very popular among wandering minstrels and plebes alike. Way too popular for my taste, since I found out a disturbing amount of similarities between myself and its protagonist. But hearing it, shamelessly sung in my own face by my daughter-in-law Ida, is going too far. Oh, but it, but it is such a funny story. All coaches and guests gain 10 opinion of you, and you lose 27 stress, because we're humble. We're humble. And by the way, can we demand conversion? Now let's be careful. So she has converted to orthodoxy. That's good. This, okay, these, these are our allies. 1,000 men. Which are really 500 archers. Let's see, can we... Let's see if we can walk to these hills. Can we lure maybe them even into these mountains? And make a defense there? I think we could win. If we fought them in the mountains. With all the horses negated. I feel like we have a good chance. Schemer discovered. It is my courtier Ananda Tevi is floating against my patriarch. Uh, yeah, I guess probably not not getting on very well. Okay. Yeah, this is what gets their attention is when we start sieging. Yeah, they are definitely coming here, so there is no point in maintaining this siege, is there? 38 days. No, not over here. Let's go to these hills. And try and lure them in here. Hopefully our ally follows. Follow. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Oh boy. Well, that is your fault, mate. Why, why would you walk towards them, though? Oh, okay, that's it. Ah, oh, King Bermudo. You numbnut. Why? Get over here. We we'll lure them into the mountains. You... Oh my god, what a... I mean, honestly. Honestly, yeah, advantage we have in this location, 19 plus 7. Here will be 19 plus 12. Oh boy, okay, they will go there. Let's just go and siege the capital again. That will get their attention. And then we retreat to the... Hills of Sivenus. Mm. A bit frustrating how, yeah, again, the AI will just... Uh, frustrate. Okay, his army got completely decimated, doesn't it? Neutral army. That's it, our allies are basically dead. Right? Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah, he's got nothing. He's got absolutely nothing. Okay, now they're gonna siege. And then they're gonna come here. Okay. We did gain Milau. What can we do? Can we go and siege West France here? I mean, what can we do? Nothing. Alright, we're just kind of wasting money, to be really honest. A lot of money was spent on this. Losing our entire stack. Ugh. Tough. Well supplied. Well supplied. Yeah. There was a small chance here. Yeah, that was the chance. We were just followed our... Try right, go get their capital. No, if we siege Paris. I've many friends, but their gifts are few, sings Dal Dalback. His voice crackling with f cracking with feeling. My guest throws his instrument aside, crying, Enough of Napoli. It is bereft of all comforts. Casting a withering glance my way, he adds, This song will be my plea for aid through this unhappy captivity. Some small funds... Should my people still care about me? He picks up the sorrowful tune once more. Far away Alba in his eyes. Let's see the charity they can muster. King Reguli 
Makmoel of Agba pays 60 to you, loses 25 opinions of you. You go closer to forming a rivalry with Dalbak Alpin. Alpin loses 40 opinion of you. He's a trait melancholic. I must teach him his place is here. Combined learning and diplomacy challenge. Gains and trait loyal. Who is he? Your guest. Good schema, yes. Let's see the charity they can muster. Okay, nice. We got 60 gold. Mm. We are gonna take... Well, that's a lot of casualties. That's 160 men we're going to lose. Oh, so frustrating. Yeah. is isn't really working out. I mean, they will just take over the entire... Aquitaine. That's a shame. It's a real shame. I mean, can there's no mercenaries we can take 270. Uh, we need pikemen. We need pikemen against these horsemen. My daughter Georgia has given birth to a daughter. Oh my god, what is going on in this court? Alexia. Let's pause. Oh my god, she's a fornicator. Please, you just can't leave these kids alone for five minutes. Five minutes. Wow, who's gonna take you now? Prowess. Oh. Yeah, well, now you're gonna have to get married to the first guy I see. Count. Eustasis of Epirus. Matrilineal. Yeah, at least Balk the Trask of Lack, Greek. He's a giant. 21. Lowborn. Lack. So at least, yeah, he's also chast. Go ahead. Oh. Christ. Hostile army. The hostile army. Boy, more hostile armies coming. Can we cut them off and at least fight these guys? Perhaps win? Let's at least get this siege done then. Child of Might Dynasty. I, Catherine has given birth to a daughter. And yeah, she's a fornicator as well. Theodora. The larger Euphemia. Theognosia. Oh, okay. Now they're all coming for us. Oh, boy. Okay, let's run. You have died. Ooh. Okay. That is a big change. 45 years he ruled. Okay. Desperate Surge of Sicily's soul has finally been cast to hell at 63 years of age. He died of old age. Known for his twisted, conniving mind, he never revealed his true intentions to anybody, not even his closest friends. Desperate Porphyrius ascends to the throne. Ever confident in himself, Porphyrius's rule may bring glory or shame to the house Spartanus. Only time will tell. Desperate Sergius is 63, ruled for 45 years. Died of old age. His level of fame is distinguished. Devotion dutiful, lifestyle stewardship, seducer and schemer, has fought in 10 wars, mostly defensive wars. Continuous Desperate Porphyrius. Okay guys, oh, let's go ahead and pause here. Ooh, this is rather bad. Okay, let's just pause for a second here. Go back to our kingdom. Oh, this is, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So, Duchy of Benevento went to our brother, Prince Pancratius. Duchy of Apulia went to our brother, Prince Manuel. Duchy of Calabria went to Prince Marcos. This went Prince Alexius, our half-brother. Duchy of Salerno. Oh, County of Capua also went to Prince Dionysius. Oh, Okay. What do we really have? We ha we're Despotid of Sicily. We have Duchy of Capua and County of Napoli. Oh, we're back to one county. 
Uh, okay. One county we have. Monthly income plus one. Vassal taxes plus 2.8. Church holdings plus 0 0.5. Oh dear. We need to get out of here ASAP. Oof. Father, father, what did you do? I mean, how many kids did you have? Oh, the entire kingdom. Oh, let's just go ahead and remove all of this. Oof. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Despot Porphyrius of Sicily, 42 years old. And in fine health. That's a positive. He's arrogant. Porphyrius has no problem with his sense of worth. Prestige plus one. Opinion of liege minus five. Opinion of vassals minus five. Important. We don't have a liege. Scheme secrecy minus 10%. Okay, and unlike his father who was humble. Probably didn't get on too well. They, they, got, they, went, they got on fine, but yeah. He's brave. Challenges or danger. Porphyrius fears nothing. Okay, martial plus two. Prowess plus three. Attraction opinion plus 10. Glory hound vassal opinion plus 10. Likelihood of dying in battle though. Plus 100%. Opinion of brave characters, plus 10. Okay. So we have 12 martial, 6 prowess. He's zealous. Religious conviction burns bright at the center of Porphyrius. Oh. Uh, martial, plus 2. Monthly piety, plus 20%. Opinion of different faiths, minus 35. Faith conversion cost, plus 20%. Zealot. Vassal opinion plus 15. Opinions of zealous characters of same faith plus 15. Okay. He's a mastermind philosopher. Porphyrius possesses an uncanny insight into all subjects of higher learning. He's a theologian. Divinity holds the answer to every question from what resides in the hearts of men to the mysteries of life. Learning plus 3, monthly piety plus 20%. Ooh, so monthly piety we get plus 40%. Learning plus 8 and plus 3. Rackish. Porphyrius spends so much time in the brothel that it has become his second home. Oh, <laughs> oh how Spartanus. Sergius, it's really his father that started this. Diplomacy minus 1, intrigue plus 1. Stress loss plus 20%. Attraction opinion minus 5. And he's an administrative courtier. Porphyrius has spent at least five years living in an organized administrative court, home to many bureaucrats and officials. Okay. Have a look. Lifestyle. Focus on learning all that you can. The realm of knowledge and divinity lie within your grasp, as well as the secrets to life itself. Okay. So here... We could go medicine focus and understanding of life beyond the vagaries of the world upon the body. We go scholarship focus, the knowledge of those who have come before, the knowledge of those still living, and the knowledge of perpetual truths. Learning plus three, development growth plus 15%. That's a nice one. And this one, learning plus one, health boost, health small boost, or theology focus. Faith and knowledge. Understanding the divine means understanding the world. Where do you have it, a chief theologian? Okay, let's have a look. <clears throat> Learning plus three. Oh, yeah, sorry, we just read through that. Okay. What did we get along the way? Clergy opinion plus 10. Zealous proselytizer. Convert faith in county progress P plus 25%. Good. So we will convert everyone to orthodoxy. Religious relations efficiency. 20% religious icon convert faith in county the time it takes to convert a county is no longer increased if that faith is, has higher fervor than your faith okay. realm priest opinion plus 50 church and state profit monthly piety per night plus 1% faith creation and reformation cost minus 50% radiant level of devotion impact plus 100% that level of, de level of devotion impact increases or decreases the modifies gain from your current level of devotion. Oh, okay. Let's have a look what those are. Defender of the faith. Tyranny gain minus 25%. Zealot vassal opinion plus 10. Okay. That's what we got. We got 
theologian. We could also get scholar. We are a mastermind philosopher, I guess. What does that mean? Your wards can get additional skills and can become your friends. Open-minded. Different cultural opinion, plus 15. Cultural acceptance, plus 20%. Minority. Vassal opinion, plus 15. Oof. Apostate. Faith conversion cost, minus 75. <clears throat> Different faith opinion, plus 15. And we could also get scientific, cultural fascination progress, plus 20%. Plant cultivation, increased development and county efficiency, plus 20%. Scholarly circles, learning per level of devotion, plus 2%, plus 2, sorry. Learning on the job, 20% of council's primary skills added to your own. It's good. Sanctioned loopholes. You can use the buy claim interaction. Get scholar. Learning plus five. Hostile scheme success. Personal scheme. Development growth plus 15%. Philosophy, nature, and knowledge. Understanding the world is the only way to rule it. Philosophy, nature, and knowledge. Okay. And whole of body. Anatomical studies. Of course, physician costs less to hire. Physician treatments have better outcomes. Then we can go carefree, stress minus 20%. You can take the embrace celibacy and abandon celibacy decisions. Restraint. Wash your hands. Reduces the chance of contracting illnesses. Reduces the chance for courtiers to contract illnesses. Okay, iron constitution. Disease resistance plus 30%. And health, massive boost. Know thyself. When death of natural causes is one year away, you will receive a warning. Oh, it's kind of useless. Time between mental breaks was three years. And healthy. Health medium boost. Whole of body at the end. Fertility plus 20%. By the time you get this, you'll be pretty old. Stress gain minus 20%. Know yourself, know your limitations, and know the full extent of your reach. Hmm. Okay, let's have a think. I feel like scholarship focus and going for the scholar, given we have now completed the theology focus. We could go scholarship focus, go for the scholar, and our aim will be to raise the development of our only county we actually own and maintain peace here. Perhaps found a university, but we need, first of all, a lot of money, a lot of fame, but we also need development of 30. Oof. But we are, uh, yeah, we're going to need to disband a lot of these, frankly, a lot of these. Oof, so our aim number one is to finish this war. I'm sorry, but we just, uh, frankly, we need to get out of here. Need to get out of here ASAP, go back home, and that's it. That's going to be us done. Hmm. Okay, wait. Let's go back to our homeland now. Let's go have a look at our council. Okay, our wife, Melis. How many children do we have? So we have Princess Ekaterine, a fornicator. Oh my god. Princess Helene, she's 15, comely. Okay, we need to find her husband soon. We have Prince Demetrius, our heir. Oh, he's 12 intrigue. He's gluttonous, arbitrary, and rowdy. Mm, boy. He's doing an intrigue education. Oh, boy. And Princess Basilica of Sicily, your daughter. Yeah, we'll review our children, but at least we do have an heir. Of our wife. Just, ambitious, brave. Tough soldier, beautiful. She's a bastard, though. Minister of court, yeah. Oh, we own one county. Okay, we, she can assist our ruler just generally. That's fine. Um, doesn't really. Okay, the realm priest endorses you, gives us 0 0.5. Go ahead and sway him. Should be quite easy. Quite easy for us to swim, get a little bit more gold out of him. 
Uh, hmm. And what is he doing? He's converting. Converting faith. Yeah, let's get everyone. Okay, that's fine. Let's finish that. Make sure we're all orthodox. Fine. That's Patriarch Anthemus of Sicily. Then we have Chancellor Litovoy Kotesti. 18 diplomacy. Excellent. I think we inherited this from our father. Steward is Eustinus Spartanus, your half brother and steward. Okay, let's see. What is he doing? He's got four years to convert culture here. That's fine. We have Marshal and Spymaster. Okay, let's start with our Marshal. Let's go 18, but we'd have powerful vassals here. They are Prince Pascalis, the Honorable of Sicily. Misguided warrior. Right, Marshal. Prowess, some of our skills, right? Mm. Let's see, rank. Oh, these are, yeah, we have Prince Pancratius. Prince Marcus, Prince Manuel, Sicily, and Prince, uh, yeah, these are our, these what, Duchy of Benevento, Duke of Calabria, Duke, Duchy of Apulia, and Duchy of Salerno. Boy, okay. Let's have a look at them. Whoa, they have a strength of 500 levies, 400 bowmen, 400 pikemen. Oh, boy. Okay, we need to maintain sound relationships. Okay. The Duke of Apulia, 300 bowmen. That's Prince Marcos the Cruel of Sicily. Their military strength is similar to ours. Bowmen, armored footmen. Okay. Prince Marcos the Cruel. And Prince Pancratius of Sicily. Brother, uncle... Uncle, okay, two of my brothers have become powerful vassals. Alexia Orcolis is... Um, she died. Has fallen from the mountain trail. Oh, okay. Interesting. Maybe we marry him off again. Fine. Let's have a look. Your brother, he is, just has high learning. Can't really be on the council. 25 intrigue. Okay, that's, I guess, our uncle. Oof. Uh, well, yeah, he's Calabria, so he has to be on the council. Fine. Let's put him as our... He's title claim at minus 20. Desire, desires the county of Rossano. Which went to Prince Alexius. Your half-brother and vassal. Um, okay. High taxes, minus 15. Council rights guaranteed. Brave, autonomous vassal, confederate partition, memory of Count Georgius. Court grandeur above expected level, plus 12. Okay, short reign, minus 30, so that will improve. Okay, so we'll improve our relationship with him next, I think. That'll be our next thing to do after we just, let's just push our relationship up with an Anthemus Katokitos, our patriarch first. As well, Marshal. Let's go ahead. 18. Who's our powerful vassal? Prince Pascalis. Fine. 14. Marshal. Misguided warrior. Let's get him in. He's got 1,300 men. This one has 1,000 men. Oh. Okay. Increase control. No, everything is fine with control. Let's go ahead then and train commanders. Or manage royal guards. Uh, night improved, hostile scheme disrupted. Okay, or we can train commanders. Night effectiveness, minute arms, damage, and toughness. Okay, so train commanders. Oh boy, we need to improve our relationships. Let's definitely go to domestic affairs with our chancellor because we need to improve relationships with all of our key vassals, which we now have quite a few. Steward Eustinus Spartanus. That's fine. Yeah. These are the two most powerful vassals. The Duke of Apulia doesn't have any men on him. Neither does the Duchy of Benevento. So they can be ignored. To be honest, he's not good at anything either, our brother. He's a mastermind philosopher. Yeah, pretty pretty useless. Uh, okay, he could be a spy master, but... Yeah, doesn't have any men, so... The the position goes to Prince Marcus, and he has council rights guaranteed as well. 
Hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's finish converting culture, converting religion, and then we go to develop Napoli as much as we can. Right? Let's first let's try and finish well hold on, let's So let's get this, yeah, I think that's what we do. We improve the county of Napoli as much as we can. This it's our only county, and I think since we finished the theologian tree, let's go on scholarship focus from now. We were young and we were zealous. You know, we were all about God, but now we'll pursue the knowledge of those who have come before. Knowledge of those still living and the knowledge of perpetual truths. We're going to select this and start working on that. Okay. So that's uh, Desperate Porphyrius of Sicily. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Other than that, Grand Tour. Let's just wait. Let's just wait and that prisoners can be ransomed. Oh, we definitely need this. Let's ransom everyone we can. Okay, let's ransom these. We need all the gold we could possibly have. Okay, our children lack guardians. Is that right? Is she education focus? She doesn't have a guardian. Educate. Uh -huh. What do we have? Court physician. Oh, she doesn't like us. Cultural acceptance, short reign, orthodoxy is hostile. It's a bit tricky. Hang on. How about we arrange for our daughter? Wait. Offer ward. The daughter of Princess Helene. Right, she's having an intrigue education. Spy master and vassal. Yep, he'll become our daughter's guardian. Get him on our side. Let's review uh, our, our heir. Also, an education focus of intrigue. But he's, a, I mean, Prince Marcus is a title claimant. And Prince Demetrius is what stands in his way. So, uh, not sure about that. Court physician doesn't even like us. Princess. Georgia of Sicily. Oh, she's an intricate web weaver. She had a good relationship with our father. Let's make her. Let's try to make something out of our boy. Big boy. Um, okay. Princess Basilica of Sicily. She's curious. Diplomacy and learning. Hmm. Well, she's went with diplomacy focus. Let's go educate child. Change. Who do we have? Itabu Cortez, Chancellor and Chief Eunuch. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to give him a child. Okay. So that's all of our ch children being educated. Artifacts of low durability. Memory of Count Georgius. Gregorius. Oof. We need to fix this up, but do we have the money? We forge or repair. Not an antiquarian. Come on. Artificer. Where's antiquarian? Common. Artifact decay reduction enables you to reforge and repair artifacts. It costs 0 0.18. Unlocks commission artifact decision. Protects artifacts during sieges and raids. Kyros, your claim knight, or your daughter, Princess Ekaterin. Aptitude poor. Terrible. Okay, so we have one average candidate. Okay. Okay, so not much we can do. Memory of Count Gregorius. This tome retells the story of when Count Stephanus of Salernus's Count Stephanus of Salernus's father, Gregorius, died of heart failure. Okay, that's not Something to pass down from generation to generation. This tome retells the story of when Count Sergius II of Napoli called an orthodox holy war for the county of Cosenza against Massivus Sordonid, composed by Sergius. It shines with a pristine aura after being blessed in the holy site of Alexandria. Monthly piety, prestige. Oh. Yeah, we can't really afford. Can't really afford. 
to do anything with these. Okay. Okay, so artifacts of low durability, that's fine. You can transfer Prince Alexis of Sicily to Prince Marx's Cruel of Sicily. By transferring Prince Alexis of Rossano to Prince Marcos, you'll get rid of the rightful liege penalty. Okay. And then this guy still likes us, he's a zealot. Vassals, wait, hang on a second, rightful leash. Come on. Full tip, just, oh, just stay there. Vassals who are not the rightful leash of give fewer resources and have a reduced opinion of you. Sometimes it's best to grant these vassals to their rightful leash, presuming that they are also your vassal. Sometimes granting a vassal to the rightful leash means that you earn less, but it's usually worth to grant them anyway. The rightful leash will have a steep opinion penalty towards you for holding a vassal they think is theirs. Keeping a good vassal structure is the key to a stable realm. Let's go ahead and do that. Fine. Let's, uh... Uh... How do I... How do we do that? Recourse excommunication? Right. You can transfer... Prince Marcos the Cruel of Sicily gains 40 opinion for 10 years, right? He's our spy master, becomes Prince Marcos's vassal. He's already considering a proposal for you. Okay. So let's do that in a second. I could declare wars, we could do something without your designated guardian for your daughter Helene Spartanus 15th. So we've done that. Could negotiate alliances, could pardon criminals. All of that, let's just unpause and let's just deal with this war. Yeah, all of that will come. Okay, I would be happy to educate your daughter, Helene. Perfect. Go ahead and do this. Clean up the structure. We now have four dukes in our realm. Your ransom accepted. Perfect. Oof. Why are we so slow all the time? I don't understand. Right, well, how come they can just gain ground on us so quickly? Looks like we're gonna have to fight them. Oof, okay. Well, let's make a stand. Have a look. Oh, faction created against you. Okay, we'll have a look. But here we are. Fighting in favorable terrain in the hills. We have 1,200 armored footmen. They are also fighting in favorable terrain, but there's only 180 of them. They are fighting in... Horses are fighting in bad terrain. Countering our bowmen up to half. Oh, we're about to lose massively. Well, guys, we have to uh, make a stand here. Where are you? Where are you? Get get in here, you. They're just doing, doing exactly what we did to them. Oh, too many of them. We're countering them. They also have a thousand foot armored footmen. Oh. You will probably win. Really? No. Oof. Oh. A ranged betrothal to the implacable despot Porphyrius of Sicily. I propose a betrothal between my sister Emma Carling Pavia and your kinsman. Your courtier. Courtier Queen Margaret. Building bone the house Spartanus. We see Mauricius Spartanus. Sure. So why not? Just for prestige, but yeah. Twenty knights they have. Boom. Oh. Why did we ever get involved in this war? My daughter Helena is safely arrived in Calabria and she'll begin her lessons forced with... Oh, we lost oh, 1,400 men, pretty much everybody. Well, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's go ahead and speed up. We can just... I mean, we need to get home and disband. Like, that's it. That's... This foreign adventure is over for us. Yeah. We lost a lot of money on this. 
Helen comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Despite having had more than a fair share of experience with lying as a child, Helen has always found it difficult to apply that kind of creativity in any structured fashion. While she has shown herself fully capable of petty scheming, few would call it refined. But refinement is not always what you need. The age of Slava's contribution to us here in education cannot go unmentioned. They grow up so fast. She's a flamboyant trickster. Let's go ahead and marry her off. ASAP. Although she is chaste, calm, she's comely. But we don't want any more fornicators in this family, honestly. Let's keep her close, maybe. Can we get... No, in fact, let's see. Let's see, rank. Can we marry her off to someone and get an alliance, actually? Wait, actually, let's hold off on that. Let's just... This, we need an alliance right now. We need an alliance to keep our throne. Because wolves are at the door. Did attentive care for five years. So this average martial skill. Okay. Let's go ahead and disband our army. Okay. Um, we need a good alliance from someone who's actually close to us. Duchess Sophia Abbot of Sicily. Okay. You see son and son. She has two sons. So let's pause. Stop at a major defeat. Hmm. Let's pause here. Can't get an alliance with her. Although, let's check our children. How long is our youngest? Princess Basilica of Sicily. Wounded. Hmm. We became friends with Duchess Blanca of Apulia. Oh yeah. Adrienne Spartanus. Oh yeah, we all know who who is the real father. Awkward. Okay. Okay, but we can't get an alliance here. Who can we get an alliance with? We need Okay, he at least has eight hundred men. Yulia Clo Chlorococcus. Okay, can we marry her off? Arrange marriage. Your courtier, your player, heir, and son. And at least he's close. Right, and he's got 400 bowmen and 300 pikemen. Actually, not a bad idea. Right, we'll accept. Go ahead, we need we need this. We need this if we're gonna keep our throne. Let's check that. Let's go to speed one. Let's just go factions. Alliance formed. Whoa. Faction to install Prince Marcus of Calabria on the Sicilian throne. Oh boy, one member. Okay, he wants himself on the Sicilian throne. Okay. Plenty of factions basically. We are losing a lot of money. Why is that? Expenses at court positions? It's really unraised men at arms, yeah. So we need to cut that by a half. By a half. So unfortunately, I think this unraised maintenance 1.89. 1 1.89. 0 0.8. Let's, let's just wait a second. Because this just needs to fill up. And then we will, I think, pay less, right? My prisoner Herbert has died in my dungeons. Fine. Hmm. What can we do to improve our position? Duchy of Corsica. Oh, that is something we can do. Patriarch Antimos. Of Sicily finished to convert faith in county task in Bari. Education completed. Helene returned from her education under Prince Marcos. Okay. Okay, let's think about this. Can we... Because we need new lands. If we are to sit on this throne... Arcanet. Sardinia 29. What are they? Orthodox Sardinian. Catholic. We do not have a Casus Belli. Well, we still have some money. Uh, offer vassalage. Do 
demand hostage, exchange hostages. Okay. How can we gain a claim? Yeah, I guess the only way is to fabricate claim on county. Let's see, which one is the best counties here? Arcanet, Tortoli, that gains 2.1 capital. What do we get? Do we get Corsica? Right, Dachi. Dachi of Corsica. Corsica. Kingdom of Sardinia. So we could get a Dachi of Corsica here. Bastia, until Vecchio, Bastia, and I, right, sorry, it's really not clear. County of Ayaccio, what is that? Okay, it's this one. Bastia and Vecchio. Okay, so it is these three. Fine. So if we get two, then we have a de jour claim, right? They are Catholic and Occitan. So, use a Casus Belli. Let's go ahead and invade Corsica, I think. Because we need to. Oh no, they have. No, they're actually pretty strong. What about Arconet of Sardinia? Arconeza Euphemia of Sardinia. Orthodox Sardinian. She only has 800 men. But right now, we also have 2,000 men. We. Yeah, but we're gonna, I mean, this is 10, in 10 months will cost us 70, right? And if we raise this, it's gonna cost us 10, so this money will run out very quickly. So we kind of need to get something right now. Not that we can get anything right now. Let's get Tortoli then. No, we get... How long is this gonna take? Three years. Oh, why does it take so long? This is so far away, I guess. About this three years. Well, I guess let's get Tortoli, right? Duchy of Corsica. Let's get the weaker one. Let's get Tortoli because it's on this side. And we're trying to get... She's ill. Who's your primary heir? Yeah, she's not going to be a great commander either. I think they're pretty weak. Go ahead and claim that. Mm, okay, this war is gonna go away. Vassal taxes, church holdings. Mm, yeah, we need we need to get four more counties uh, as soon as we can. Go ahead and go up to speed three. Hmm. Yeah, that's a mastermind. Philosopher, I mean, I guess he's zealous, though. So, I mean, it would make sense to attack Catholics rather than Orthodox, but... She is a wise woman. Unconventional but practical approach to religion. Plus femur. She's a fellow astute intellectual, though. Hmm, yeah, sorry. Neighboring ruler lost war. Let's go ahead to speak to... Oof. What's going on here? Countess. Attacking Prince Mancritus of Sicily in the war for Countess Euthydia's claim on Duchy of Benevento. Okay. Countess Euthydia of Benevento, she has 1600 men somehow. The Duchy of Benevento, he has three men. Ooh, our brother. Hmm. Uh. Because he doesn't own any of the counties, I guess, right? Okay. We also need... Yeah, we need we need that alliance with someone. Duchy of Dubrovnik. 800 men. Slovakian, Serbian. Catholic, Bosnian. Any good Greeks that can help us out? Duchy of Dirakion. There we go. 1600 men. Bardas Girontus. 
Arrange marriage. This is Helene. Yeah, there we go. We get an alliance. Everyone is happy. That's what we need. Let's get... Oh, he's fairly close, so he should be dependable. And he's taken prisoner. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Perfect. I've lately heard of your disputes with that false ogre, you genius. A most contemptible excuse for a man. Your sister, Princess Anna. Given our mutual interests, I'm sure we'll get along well, friend. I eagerly await to, an, the opportunity to discuss this further. Well, and we are friends. Our sister. She's a twin. Who's she? Anna was born a twin. Who's she a twin with? Siblings. Oof. We lost the war led by Prince Bermuda. Oh, that's it. There's no Aquitaine anymore. Nicknamed the Brave. My liege, have you heard what they call you? My despotist Melissa says to me, while widening her stance. They call you Despot Porphyrius the Brave. Spectacular, is it not? It's on the lips of peasant and noble alike. A cause for celebration, I think, Melissa exclaims with a cheery tone. I can get used to this name. You gain 150 prestige. Okay. Oof, okay. Look at this. We're getting 1 plus 1 1.2. Perfect. Even with all of these men at arms, really. So we can at least continue to, you know, gain some money while holding this. As soon as we raise them all, of course, it's going to be a different story, right? A completely different story, frankly. Oh boy, 1.2, but we do have 200 gold in the bank. Mm. So we should at least be able to fight off any, any pretenders to the throne, right? That's how our mastermind philosopher and scholar should think. And in the meantime, we need to find room for expansion and... Well, this wise woman living on her own in Sardinia. She's orthodox. But she's a mystic, a blasphemer. And these Catholics, more heathens. I feel like this is something we could potentially take over. These, of course. Mm, let's have a look. The rain. Dry lands. Oh, dear. This is good terrain. Well, no, hills. Palermo is good. That's farmlands. Palermo would... Rome. That'd be great. But that's going to bring every infidel Catholic on top of us, isn't it? Ooh, that is a county. And a half. Temple holdings. City. Mm. Dangerous faction. Give us an ultimatum soon. Once despotate of Sicily. Who's this? Prince Pascalis. Two members. Oof. Duchess Justice of Benevento is with him. And Prince Pascalis. She just got rid of our brother. What are you unhappy about? Powerful vassal that wants to be on the council. Well, is there anything you can do? No. She's ambitious and chaste. She's got 1,600 men. And this guy has 1,200 men. Well, you know what? Let them. Let them come. Let them come. That's what we think. We have men. Pay ransom. Lose his third answer because their compassion pays 10 to you. Sure. Let them come. We will gain Duchy of Salerno and Duchy of Benevento child of my dynasty. My half-sister Giorgio has given birth to a daughter, Eusebia. They should go strong and wise. Let them come. We will consolidate. Um, do we still hold... Yeah, we still hold the Duchy of Capua. Okay. We will consolidate our power. Regain two duchies. And some nice provinces. Farmlands, yes, Salerno is an excellent province. Okay. Especially Salerno, we need. My daughter, Ekaterin, has given birth to a daughter, Romilia. 
Eulalia, Euphemia, Eudoxia, Theodosia, Justina, Viviana. Viviana, we've never had anyone with a V. Hmm, but okay guys, I think we're coming up on the hour. Um, perhaps I... Oh, no, okay, let's just make it to 967, finally. Alright, one more year. 100 years of the game, and then we do a recap in the next episode, perhaps. To make my patriarch and Anthemus more susceptible. In my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. I will be sure to mention his relentless courage. I will keep it short and professional, I think. We're both theologians and scholars. She is a woman now. It has been a good while since I saw my old hearthrob, Sophia. The best friend in King Bermuda II's queen. Okay, she's house Spartanus, right? Even after all these years, the thought of her as the subject of my childhood infatuation occupies my mind in the midnight hours. She's a woman now, and I cannot help but feel myself reaching for my quill when I think of her. Perhaps I ought to finally make my feelings known. Oof, I will confess my love. We are zealous and we are religious. I must set aside these childish thoughts. Indeed, come on, we are decent orthodox man. Four children. Let's go ahead, Alice. Quickly make it to 967. 100 years into the game. The interest faction will send an ultimatum soon. Once the faction is strong enough, their discontent rises until finally they send an ultimatum. You have to accept their demands or prepare yourself for a civil war. We're ready. Actually, our monthly income keeps going up. Yeah, we're good. Our financial position is tenable. Go ahead. See. What events available? A foul smell. My liege, a word please. My Chancellor Litovoy approaches me during a brief lull while attending court matters. He gestures to a less populated spot in the room, and I follow him there. I'm concerned about the state of Napoli Castle. While holding a meeting in one of the rooms, well, we all noticed the horrific smell. It must have come from the latrines the floor below. I implore you to consider paying to fix the neglected parts of the building. I'll ensure that the problem gets fixed as soon as possible. Oh, we don't have 50, man. Uh, my steward can handle the matter. 52% will lose 25. Ah, oh, Just plug the hole in the floor. Smelly court. Basil opinion. Oh, for 10 years. Just plug the hole in the floor. We have bigger things to worry about right now. The munificent... The munificence of Sophia. In the past few days, neighboring Duchess Sophia has been visiting my court on her way to some holy site or something. Since her arrival, she has been outshining me with her generosity towards my own courtiers, who have all been lapping up her gold with no dignity. I can't help but scoff when I see her surrounded by adoring courtiers for the upteenth time. My courtiers. A purse for you, good Aunt Antimus. And some coins for you also, kind Balk. And for you, sweet Theognosia, sweet honey cakes. Remember, riches are meant to be shared. Dacia Sophia, the Abel of Sicily. Dux Ioannis of Sicily. Who is he? He doesn't even. Ha he's unlanded. How's he a Dux? Hang on a second. Okay, she's pregnant too. I can be even more generous. No, I cannot. I should take advantage of her silly generosity too. I convince Sophia to cough up for me too, or she loses opinion of us. Oof, nice. She pays 55 to us. Okay. Curse undone. Twist in terms of fate have not always been an advantage. God, God knows that I was cursed the day I met Eugenius. Today, however, the curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that false buffoon to his grave. Christ, everyone hated this guy. 
Humble, just, stubborn. Tough soldier. Not one day too soon. Never King Sanklas lost against Emir Butros of Saraquat. Saraquasta. Okay. Uh, commander improved. Okay, let's just go. Pause, go to our court. So we're getting everything we can from Patriarch. Sigon, he's ill. Okay, that's why he's in his shirt. Uh, let's go ahead and sway our spy master. Alternate of Africa. Thinking with our Duchy of Ancona. Like a new perk for the learning lifestyle. Scientific pedagogy. Increased development and county efficiency plus 20%. Learning per level of devotion. Minded. Faith. Let's go with scientific. Cultural fascination progress. I mean, that doesn't really change it because we're not the head of the culture. So. What have we actually unlocked already? From early medieval period. Okay, we're about to get hereditary rule. We'll read that, I guess, when it comes. Um, but we do have royal prerogative, as our royalty has a greater burden placed upon them by their responsibility to govern the realm, so too shall they be bestowed with privileges reserved exclusively for them. That's high and absolute crown authority. Your glory is widely known. Gain a level of fame. Impeccable household. Again, we have an excellent wife. Jesus. House Spartanus. Court event available. Okay, let's... Wait a second. There was also something else we've unlocked, wasn't there? Duchess Sophia, the Abel of Sicily, paid 15 in three court grandeur. Claimant demand. To my liege, the rightful rule to Sicily belongs to Prince Pascalis of Salerno by divine right. So we have gathered the support required to make it so. Accept this fact peacefully, or we will make you do so by force. I guess I have no choice. I will not be threatened. Big war declared. Greetings, my liege. Your low character is the subject of Greek plays. You are a pretender and a tyrant. It is time to restore the rightful monarch to the throne. War for Prince Pascal. It's interesting that it's always the person who is supporting that declares war. Like, shouldn't he be the one? Why is she advocating on his behalf? He should be the one declaring the war. Given he's the one who wants the throne. Attackers, ah, oh, you lowly scum, 1831, 1800 troops versus our 2200 with 1200 legionaries, rally the troops. Okay guys, enemy ally joins wars, Prince Pascalis is the honorable, oh, the Sicily joined war for Prince Pascalis claim to the despot of Sicily. Okay, guys, well, let's make a cut here. It's a good place to make a cut. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. I think this is getting, again, quite interesting. And, yeah, see you in the next episode where we uh, fight the, out the civil war and assert ourselves on the throne, or not, perhaps. I think we should be able to, though. So, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.